This Tobacco University video is going to look at the identification and control of fungus gnats related to cannabis plants. All right, let's go over how to identify and control gnats on cannabis plants, particularly fungus gnats. So let's start off with a description here. Fungus gnat larvae need wet conditions to thrive and are typically found growing in the substrates and typically near the kind of surface of those substrates. You can see here the fungus gnat larvae, how it looks, and then we see the adult uh, gnat in the actual soil. Here we see one actually affixed to a yellow sticky card, which are used or hung in, in around plants to capture insects so that growers can identify or know what's in the area as far as pest pressure goes. Now with that identification, here we see a large uh, yellow sticky trap with all sorts of fungus gnats attached to it. Uh, those yellow sticky cards can be helpful for early detection. However, you can also use uh, sliced potatoes placed near the soil or substrate surface as it should only take about 48 hours for maggots, if they're present, to find the potatoes. So if you're looking for something that you can just easily go maybe right in the kitchen and grab, take some potatoes, slice them up, put them near the plant, and you should know very quickly if you have any fungus gnat maggots. This is because the insects tend to feed on the roots of the cannabis plant, so placing it near the soil substrate structure uh, will put it near where they are, and they're very likely to find this um, basic uh, area here to feed on as well. Now we'll go about managing them. So how to go about managing uh, fungus gnats? Well, wet substrate surface is key to their proliferation. So sometimes putting a layer of sand or rice holes on the surface of a container substrate will reduce the surface moisture and thus result in less fungus gnats. Keeping that real high surface moisture uh, very wet really increases the likelihood and pressure of your plants will have fungus gnats. In general, keeping that substrate surface dry is important for their control. So those rice holes or sand dry very easily, let water pour through very easily. Keeping that upper layer dry will reduce the pressure of fungus gnats on your plants. Some do suggest applica applications of Bacillus thuringiensis or BT can be helpful, but really that moisture is key. The last resort should be insecticides that contain pyrethrum uh, and neem oil as these need several soil-based applications and can also damage the plant roots as well. So you want to avoid those at all, all costs. Start with the environmental change, reducing the moisture. Hopefully that will take care of your numbers, especially if you're able to identify them early.